Saturday night's flash flood in Ellicott City washed away parts of Main Street, but the community has vowed to rebuild. ABC 2's Mallory Safaste has been updating us on the recovery effort all week long and has the latest on what went on there today. Mallory? Jamie, the flooding was swift, but the cleanup, that's going to take a while. Good news, though, for some people who live and work on Main Street. They were finally allowed access to grab the items they value most. I finally got my guitar back. I can see. I got my glasses. I finally got my glasses. I can see. I have vision now. This is crazy. Not necessarily expensive items, but it's personal things that those displaced by Saturday's flooding are finding comfort in. We get paid off of our music and, uh, it's just, it feels so good to have everything I've worked for for the last five years in my hand right now. It's With empty bags and bins, people were driven down to their homes or businesses for roughly 10 minutes. Haldun Al Ghatrif stopped by his newly opened gallery. We moved in three weeks and uh, yeah, this happened. His store sustained some damage, but he said he can't compare it to others' loss, particularly the families of the two people killed in the flood. I wish like we lost all the, our businesses, but not to have any one person got injured. Well, it's very sad. I would feel very bad for their families. And while many could get into their homes for the first time since Saturday, there's still some who cannot. Part of Lower Main Street remains blocked off until crews tear down two buildings on the verge of collapse. Another challenge the county faces is dealing with a sewage leak caused by the storm. Repairs are underway, but each day, five million gallons of sewage are overflowing into the Patapsco River. It'll be a long recovery, but for now, some are finding joy in the little things. Everything is everything. Safety personnel will continue to bring down anyone displaced by the flooding until 7.30 this evening. For the latest information on the cleanup, visit our website, abc2news.com. Reporting in Ellicott City, Mallory Safaste, ABC2 News.